For me, it happened on my 40th birthday. My friends took me out for my birthday. We went out, we took a bunch of pictures, of course, and they sent me the photos the next day. I was completely blown away. I couldn't believe how much overweight I had become. And it didn't happen overnight. It was a slow progression over years, and it kind of just snuck up on me like it does with most people. I went on this clean diet. I did the, you know, all the, the healthy, clean eating and all the things that you read in all the magazines and all the blogs and all that stuff. I did all that, and it only lasted about six months, like everyone does. And after six months, I was bored with it, and I was done. So what I did was I took these recipes that were not healthy, that were bad for me, and I sat in the kitchen for weeks, for months, talking to my friends that are chefs, talking to my friends that love to cook, talking to my mom, talking to my grandma, talking to all my friends that I knew that enjoyed cooking as much as I did. And I, I literally just sat down and went, okay, cool. How can I make this Mexican dish without the lard? How can I make this, uh, this pizza without the bread? How can I make brownies without all the sugar and all, all the flour and all that stuff? And after you know spending months and months of doing this, and with all the advice from my friends and just really experimenting in the kitchen, I came up with these recipes. And really the whole premise of this show is not about me, it's not about trying to be on television or be this big, you know, whatever, rock star, whatever, all this BS. It's not about that. It's about trying to help people learn how they can continue to eat the food that they love without all the crap in it. It's that simple. That's what the whole show is about. So another big part of my life has always been playing music and it's not so much playing the music that I loved but it was the creative side, the being able to sit down with a guitar with a couple other musicians and take something that doesn't exist, that's just in the air and really putting it on paper or on tape and just creating this song out of nowhere. I mean that's the beauty of music and really cooking is the exact same thing. So really it's like writing a song. It's like taking this chord and this chord and you like you walk into the kitchen and you have all these different spices and flowers and all these things and you go, okay, cool, what will happen if I put a little bit of this and put a little bit of that and put a little bit of this and put a little bit of that and take some of this out? And sometimes, you know what, it sucks and sometimes it doesn't. And really, that's the creative and fun part about it. I mean, sometimes I sit down for hours and I'll try to figure out a new recipe or whatever and when it's all done, I'll take a bite and throw it out the window because it's garbage and other times it's not. I mean, really, that's the creative side of it and a lot of people I know don't have time to do that or they just don't enjoy doing that and that's what this show is about is for people that don't have time to cook but have always been interested in it or maybe they do like to cook but they're just looking for some healthier versions of what they already like to cook like tortillas and, and tacos and brownies and all these different things that's what the show is about it's about just going in the kitchen experimenting but experimenting with good healthy uh, ingredients instead of the typical butter instead of the typical white bread instead of the typical sugar to me those are a cop-out you can make anything taste good with butter that's that's just like okay cool I want to make this taste good I already sliced a bunch of butter and throw it in there well of course it's gonna taste good it's freaking butter it's like taking a bunch of bacon cooking it crumbling it up and throwing it on your salad well of course it's gonna taste good that's the easy way out anyone can do that the whole premise of this is to not take the easy way out, but the quick, fast, healthy way out, which tastes just as good. If you just try it, you'll see what I'm talking about, and you'll go, wow, this is cool. And at the end of the day, you won't have gained 30 extra pounds. You won't have eaten 4,000 calories in one day. So listen, if you're like me, and you love eating all the things that aren't good for you, you're gonna love this show, because that's what the show's about. It's about eating all the yum food. I call it yum food because it's all the things that we're supposed to not eat. All the things like stuff that tastes like donuts and tacos and enchiladas and all the things that you feel guilty about eating. That's what this whole show is about. Eating all these guilty foods, but the reality of it is, you have no reason to be guilty because it's all good for you. It's all low sugar. Most of it's gluten free, most of it's extremely low fat, and almost all of it's low calories. And none of it has flour. Trust me, you've got to try it. You're going to love it.